Okay, multiplying fractions is probably easier even than adding and subtracting them. Um, you multiply the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. In this case, 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 and 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. Okay, you can go on and simplify that then if you like. If you're asked to, 5 over 3. Let's take another one. 1 third multiplied by 2 over 4. And that's going to give me 2 over 12. And another 2 divided by 7 multiplied by 1 sixth. You notice I said here, I said 2, 2 divided by 7, which is what 2 sevenths is, of course. So, um, and that's equal to um, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, and 7 multiplied by 6 is 42. And again, I can simplify these if I like, or if you're asked to, but 1 over 21. The most important thing is to remember the top by the top, by the top, and the bottom, I just write B, by the bottom. Okay, um, some multiplications are more difficult than other ones, and, and no one wants to multiply 22 multiplied by 12, um, and 11 multiplied by 17. So in this case, we can use something called cancelling. And what we do is we look for numbers that can be divided in, into each other from the denominator and the numerator. In this case, 11 divides into 22. Well, 11 goes into 11 once, and 11 goes into 22 twice. So that's much, much easier. I can now multiply 12 by 2 is equal to 24, and 17 multiplied by 1 is 17. So that's it. That's it. That one fixed. What about this one here? 15 divided by 8 times 24 divided by 10, 20. Again, you look for things, and um, it can be top and bottom and the same fraction. I mean, I can look all in here, or I can look this way or this way. You know, anywhere that I can see a numerator and denominator which might cancel each other out. So I'm going to go for, um, say, the eight. I'm trying to do this in red. Sorry, eight and 24. Well, eight goes into eight once, and eight goes into 24 three times. And I notice as well that 5 goes into 15 three times, and it divides into 24 times. What you need to be careful of here is when you're doing it that you don't make a big mess of this area here, you know? Don't make a mess of it all, because it's quite easy to obliterate all the numbers and you can't see anything anymore. So be careful, I see a 3 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 9, and I have 1 multiplied by 4 is a 4. So as you can see, cancelling is really, really good. It makes it much better. Okay, the next thing we need to be able to do is be able to multiply um, uh, mixed fractions. So we'll have two and a half times three and three quarters. This is, um, again, very simple. We turn them into, into improper fractions. So that's going to be five over two times four threes of 12 plus three is 15 over uh, four. Um, and in this case, the two doesn't divide into the five and nor, neither does it divide into 15, and the 4 doesn't divide into 5 or 15, so I can't do any cancelling in this case, so I just multiply them out. 5 multiplied by 15 is 5 tens are 50, and 5 fives is 25, so that's 75. Rough work if you need to, you know, do it over there if you need to, and 2 fours are 8, and I think that's it. I don't think there's any common denominators to these two numbers, so that's my answer. I could also, of course, turn it into a mixed fraction, um, which would be... 8 9 is 72, I think. So you're going to have 9 and uh, 3 eighths. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, division has that famous phrase, KFC. Okay, keep, flip, change, if you need to use that. So what we do is we leave the two-thirds, we keep that, we change the division into multiplication, and we flip the 5 over 2 into 2 over 5. And then we multiply, and that's going to give me 4 over 15. It's as simple as that. Let's do another one. Let's say three quarters divided by six over seven. And that's going to give me three quarters. I keep that. I change the division to multiplication and I divide it by seven over six. I spot that the three and the six divides into each other once and twice. So that's going to give me seven over eight, seven eighths, okay? And um, if I have to do a division of something like two and a half divided by, say, one and three quarters, as usual with these things, I'm gonna convert it into a, an improper fraction. Five over two divided by four ones is four plus three is seven over four. And you notice the way I write the steps. Don't skip them, write them down. It makes it nice and uh, tight and organized and structured. 
multiply by 4 over 7. I look for maybe something to cancel out, and there we go. That's twice and once. And I'm going to get now a 10 over 7. Maybe let's do one more of those. Um, I'll go on to the next page. We'll say uh, 1 and 4 fifths divided by 2 and the third. So I'm going to turn this into improper, which is 9 over 5 divided by 7 over 3, which is 9 over 5 times 3 over 7. And um, no, nothing cancels, so I'm going to get 9 trees of 27 over 5 sevens 35. Okay, and I think that's okay. Nothing else divides into those. Okay, so now I'm going to give you your homework, and if you've been asked to do this particular question, question three, um, then uh, do that and bring it in to me for homework tomorrow. Thank you.